The Kabbalistic Conclusions by Pico della Mirandola 72 Kabbalistic Conclusions According to My Own Opinion Strongly Confirming the Christian Religion Using the Hebrew Wise Men's Own Principles 1. Whatever other Kabbalists say, in a first division, I distinguish the science of Kabbalah into the science of Sefirot and Shemot, that is, into practical and speculative sciences. 2. Whatever other Kabbalists say, I divide the speculative part of the Kabbalah, the science of names, four ways, corresponding to the four divisions of philosophy that I generally make. The first is what I call the science of the revolution of the alphabet, corresponding to the part of philosophy that I call universal philosophy. The second, third, and fourth is the threefold Merkabah, the chariot, corresponding to the three parts of particular philosophy concerning divine, middle, and sensible natures. 3. The science that is the practical part of Kabbalah practices all formal metaphysics and inferior theology. 4. Ein Sof should not be counted with the other numerations, because it is the abstract and uncommunicated unity of those numerations, not the coordinated unity. 5. Every Hebrew Kabbalist, following the principles and sayings of the science of the Kabbalah, is inevitably forced to concede, without addition, omission, or variation, precisely what the Catholic faith of the Christians maintains concerning the Trinity and every divine person, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Corollary not only anyone who denies the Trinity, but anyone who proposes it in a different way than the Catholic Church does, like the Arians, Sibelians, and similar men, these can be clearly refuted if the principles of the Kabbalah are admitted. 6. Whoever is profound in the science of the Kabbalah can understand that the three great four-letter names of God, which exist in the secrets of the Kabbalists, through miraculous appropriation, should be attributed to the three persons of the Trinity like this, so that the name Eye is that of the Father, the name yod heh vav -Heh of the Son, and the name Adonai of the Holy Spirit. 7. No Hebrew Kabbalist can deny that the name of Jesus, if we interpret it following the methods and principles of the Kabbalah, signifies precisely all this and nothing else, that is, God, the Son of God, and the wisdom of the Father, united to human nature in the unity of assumption through the third person of God, who is the most ardent fire of love. 8. From the preceding conclusion, we can know why Paul says that Jesus was given the name that is over every name, and why it is said that all in heaven and earth and hell kneel in the name of Jesus, which is also highly Kabbalistic, and anyone who is profound in the Kabbalah can understand this by himself. 9. If any human prediction can be made concerning the last things, we can discover through the most secret way of the Kabbalah that the end of the world will occur 514 years and 25 days from now, that is, January 1st, 2000. 10. That which among the Kabbalists is called Metatron is without a doubt that which is called Pallas by Orpheus, the paternal mind by Zoroaster, the Son of God by Mercury, Wisdom by Pythagoras, and the Intelligible Sphere by Parmenides. 11. The way in which rational souls are sacrificed by the archangel to God, which is not explained by the Kabbalists, only occurs through the separation of the soul from the body 
not the body from the soul, except accidentally, as it happens in the death of the kiss, of which it is written, Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. 12. Whoever is not rationally intellectual cannot operate through the pure Kabbalah. 13. Whoever operates in the Kabbalah without the mixture of anything extraneous, if he is long in the work, he will die from the death of the kiss. And if he errs in the work or comes to it unpurified, he will be devoured by Azazel through the property of judgment. 14. By the letter Shin, which mediates in the name of Jesus, it is indicated to us cabalistically that the world then rested perfectly, as though in its perfection, when Yod was conjoined with Vav, which happened in Christ, who was the true Son of God, and man. 15. By the name yod He vav He, which is the ineffable name that the Kabbalists say will be the name of the Messiah, it is clearly known that he will be God the Son of God, made man through the Holy Spirit, and that after him the paraclete will descend over men for the perfection of mankind. 16. From the mystery of the three letters in the word Shabbat, we can interpret cabalistically that the world will sabbatize when the Son of God becomes man, and that ultimately the Sabbath will come when men are regenerated in the Son of God. 17. Whoever knows what the purest wine is among the Kabbalists understands why David says, I will be made drunk by the abundance of your dwelling. And what drunkenness the ancient seer Musaeus says is happiness, and what so many Bacchae mean in Orpheus. 18. Whoever joins astrology to Kabbalah will see that to sabotage and rest becomes more appropriate after Christ on the Lord's day than on the day of the Sabbath. 19. If we explain cabalistically that the saying of the prophet, they have sold the just for silver, it signifies to us only this, namely, God, as Redeemer, was sold for silver. 20. If the Kabbalists turn their interpretation to this word, az, which signifies then, they will be greatly illuminated concerning the mystery of the Trinity. 21. Whoever joins the saying of the Kabbalists stating that numeration, which is called just and redeemer, is also called Z, with the saying of the Talmudists stating Isaac departed just like Z carrying his cross, he will see that that which was prefigured in Isaac was fulfilled in Christ who was the true God sold for silver. 22. Through the words of the Kabbalists concerning the redness of Esau, and that saying in the book Bereshit Rabbah that Esau was red, and red avenged him, of whom it is said, Why are your garments red? It is expressly known that Christ, concerning whom our doctors expound the same text, will be he who takes vengeance on impure powers. 23. By that saying of Jeremiah, he lacerated your word, according to the exposition of the Kabbalists, we have to understand that God lacerated God, the holy and blessed, on behalf of sinners. 24. By the response of the Kabbalists to the question of why in the Book of Numbers the section on the death of Mary is joined to the section on the red calf, and by their exposition of that passage, where Moses, in the sin involving the golden calf, said, Destroy me, and by the words in the Zohar on that text, and we were healed by his bruises, 
Those Hebrews claiming that it was not fitting that the death of Christ should satisfy mankind's sin are inevitably refuted. 25. Every Kabbalist has to concede that the Messiah was to have liberated them from diabolical and not temporal captivity. 26. Every Kabbalist has to concede, from the words of those learned in this science clearly saying this, that original sin will be expiated by the coming of the Messiah. 27. From the principles of the Kabbalists, it can be clearly deduced that the necessity for circumcision is removed by the coming of the Messiah. 28. By the word et, which is placed twice in that text, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth, I believe that Moses is referring to the creation of the intellectual nature and the animate nature which in the natural order preceded the creation of the heavens and the earth. 29. What the Kabbalists say, that a green line circles the universe, speaks appropriately to the final conclusion that I stated from the mind of Porphyry. 30. Following their own principles, the Kabbalists must necessarily concede that the true Messiah will be such that of him it is truly said that he is God and the Son of God. 31. When you hear that the Kabbalists posit formlessness in Teshuvah, by formlessness understand antecedence to form, not privation of it. 32. If we join the two Alephs that are in the text, the scepter shall not be taken away, etc., to the two Alephs that are in the text, God possessed me from the beginning, and the two Alephs that are in the text, the earth was empty, through the way of the Kabbalah, we understand that there Jacob spoke of that true Messiah, who was Jesus of Nazareth. 33. By this word, which is written Aleph, Yod, and Sin, and signifies man, which is attributed to God, and he is called a man of war, through the way of the Kabbalah we are perfectly admonished as to the mystery of the Trinity. 34. Through the name, that is, man, which is written with the three letters He, Vav, and Aleph, which name is very properly attributed to God, something in harmony not only with the Kabbalists, who often expressly declare this, but as well with the theology of Dionysius the Areopagite, through the way of the Kabbalah, the mystery of the Trinity, with the possibility of the Incarnation, is revealed to us. 35. If God is known in himself as infinite, as one, and as existing through himself, we recognize that nothing proceeds from him, but know his separation from things and his total closure of himself in himself, and his extreme, profound, and solitary retraction in the remotest recesses of his divinity, and we recognize him as he conceals himself inwardly in the abyss of his darkness, and in no way revealing himself in the dilation and profusion of his goodness and fontal splendor. 36. From the preceding conclusion, we can know why the Kabbalists say that God dressed himself in ten garments when he created the world. 37. Anyone who understands the subordination of piety to wisdom in the right-hand order understands perfectly, through the way of the Kabbalah, in what way Abraham, in his day, saw the day of Christ through the right line, and rejoiced. 38. The effects that followed the death of Christ should convince every Kabbalist that Jesus of Nazareth was the true Messiah. 39. From this conclusion, and the thirtieth stated above, 
It follows that every Kabbalist has to concede that Jesus, when asked who he was, responded very rightly, saying, I am the beginning who speaks to you. 40. The Kabbalists inevitably have to concede this, that the true Messiah will purify men through water. 41. It can be known in the Kabbalah through the mystery of the closed Mem why, after himself, Christ sent the paraclete. 42. It is known through the principles of the Kabbalah that Jesus correctly said, Before Abram was born, I am. 43. Through the mystery of the two letters Vav and Yod, it is known in what way the Messiah as God was the beginning of himself as man. 44. Through the mystery of the northern part, it is known from the Kabbalah why God will judge the world through fire. 45. It is known very openly in the Kabbalah why the Son of God comes with baptismal waters and the Holy Spirit with fire. 46. Through the eclipse of the sun that occurred at the death of Christ, it can be known following the principles of the Kabbalah that then the Son of God and the true Messiah suffered. 47. Anyone who knows the property of the North in the Kabbalah knows why Satan promised Christ the kingdom of the world if, falling, he adored him. 48. Whatever other Kabbalists say, I say that the ten spheres correspond to the ten numerations like this, so that, starting from the edifice, Jupiter corresponds to the fourth, Mars to the fifth, the Sun to the sixth, Saturn to the seventh, Venus to the eighth, Mercury to the ninth, the Moon to the tenth. Then, above the edifice, the firmament to the third, the primum mobile to the second, and the empyrean heaven to the tenth. 49. Anyone who knows the correspondence of the Ten Commandments through conjunction of astrological truth with theological truth will see from the foundation that I set out in the preceding conclusion Whatever other Kabbalists say, that the first commandment corresponds to the first numeration, the second to the second, the third to the third, the fourth to the seventh, the fifth to the fourth, the sixth to the fifth, the seventh to the ninth, the eighth to the eighth, the ninth to the sixth, and the tenth to the tenth. 50. When the Kabbalists say that the sun should be sought from the seventh and the eighth, those petitions in the inferior Merkaba are to be interpreted this way, so that one is asked to grant them, the other not to prohibit them. And which one grants and which one prohibits, anyone who is knowledgeable in astrology and Kabbalah can understand from the preceding conclusions. 51. Just as the full moon was in Solomon, so the full sun was in the true Messiah, who was Jesus. And concerning the diminished correspondence in Zedekiah, anyone can conjecture if he is profound in the Kabbalah. 52. From the preceding conclusion, it can be known why the evangelist Matthew omitted certain persons in those fourteen generations he names before Christ. 53. Since for light to be made is nothing but to participate in light, that exposition of the Kabbalists is very appropriate, that in Let There Be Light, by light we should understand the shining mirror, and in light was made the mirror not shining. 
54. What the Kabbalists say, that we will be beatified in the shining mirror restored to the saints in the future world, is exactly the same, following their principles, as that which we say that the saints will be beatified in the sun. 55. What the Kabbalists say, that the light restored in the seventh shines more than the light left behind, miraculously agrees with Pythagorean arithmetic. 56. Anyone who knows how to unfold the quaternarius into the denarius will have the method, if he is skilled in the Kabbalah, of deducing the name of the seventy-two letters from the ineffable name. 57. From the last conclusion, anyone knowledgeable in formal arithmetic can understand that to operate through the Shem Ham Farash is proper to the rational nature. 58. It will be more correct to explain that Bekadmen, which the Chaldean gloss places over the word Bereshit, concerns the sapiential ideas rather than the 32 paths, as other Kabbalists say. Both, however, are correct in the Kabbalah. 59. Whoever profoundly considers the fourfold state of things, the first concerning the unity and stability of indwelling, the second concerning procession, the third concerning reversion, the fourth concerning beatific reunion, will see that the letter bet operates the first with the first letter, the middle with the middle letter, and the last ones with the last letters. 60. From the last conclusion, a contemplative man can understand why the law of God, of which it is written that it is immaculate, that it was joined with him as he created, that it converts souls, and that it yields fruit in its time, begins with the letter bet. 61. Through the same conclusion, one can know that the same Son, who is the wisdom of the Father, is he who unites all things in the Father, and through whom all things were made, and by whom all things are converted, and in whom, at last, all things sabotage. 62. Whoever profoundly considers the nine Beatitudes in the Gospel according to Matthew will see that those miraculously agree with the nine numerations which are below the first, which is the inaccessible abyss of divinity. 63. Just as Aristotle disguised and concealed the more divine philosophy which the ancient philosophers veiled under tales and fables, so Rabbi Moses the Egyptian in the book the Latins call The Guide for the Perplexed, while in the superficial shell of words appears to move with the philosophers, in hidden insights of a profound sense, enfolds the mysteries of the Kabbalah. 64. In the text, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, it is more correct to understand the collection from inferior to superior, and from superior to inferior, than from inferior to superior twice. 65. It is more correct that Amen should signify Tiferet and kingdom, as is shown through the way of number, than that it should signify kingdom only, as some would have it. 66. I adapt our soul to the ten sephirot thus, so through its unity it is with the first, through intellect with the second, through reason with the third, through superior sensual passion with the fourth, through superior irascible passion with the fifth, through free choice with the sixth, through all of these as it converts to superior things with the seventh, through all of these, 
as it converts to inferior things with the eighth, through a mixture of both of these, more through indifferent or alternate adhesion than simultaneous inclusion, with the ninth, and through the power by which it inhabits the first habitation with the tenth. 67. Through the saying of the Kabbalists, the heavens are made from fire and water, we are simultaneously shown both the theological truth of the Sephirot themselves and the philosophical truth that the elements in heaven exist only according to their active power. 68. Whoever knows what the denarius is in formal arithmetic and recognizes the nature of the first spherical number knows that which up to now I have not read in any Kabbalist, and that is what is the principle in the Kabbalah of the secret great jubilee. 69. From the principle in the preceding conclusion, one can equally know the secret of the fifty gates of intelligence, and of the thousandth generation, and of the kingdom of all ages. 70. Through the method of reading without points, that is vowel signs, in the law, we are shown both the method of writing divine things and the unial containment of divine things through an unlimited compass. 71. Through that which the Kabbalists say about Egypt, and experience confirms it, we have to believe that the land of Egypt stands in analogy and in subordination to the property of power. 72. Just as true astrology teaches us to read in the Book of God, so the Kabbalah teaches us to read in the Book of the Law. The End these conclusions will not be disputed until after the Epiphany. In the meantime, they will be published in all Italian universities. And if any philosopher or theologian, even from the ends of Italy, wishes to come to Rome for the sake of debating, his lord, the disputer, promises to pay the travel expenses from his own funds. End of the Kabbalistic Conclusions by Giovanni Pico della Mirandola Read by Dan Attrell Translated by Stephen Farmer <laughs>